Should 24 Sussex Drive remain the official residence of the Prime Minister? Well, travelling around the world, I think it's the least that we can do to have a proper place for our Prime Ministers. And I think that 24 Sussex is uh, historical. Uh, it's, um, it's been the house of uh, many Prime Ministers. So I think it should be repaired and, and uh, sooner than the later because uh, we should have done this a while ago. Uh, yes, but maybe it's time to think of rebuilding it from the ground up. Uh, in these days of computers, electricity and modern everything, it uh, might be, uh, as you say, cheaper to just rebuild it in the first place. I understand it being a historic value, so we can argue one way or the other, I guess. Definitely historic site. Yeah, like I definitely think they should build a new one. Why There's renovate no, it? Yeah, especially if it's going to cost so much money and it's already like so down. And he hasn't been living there? Yeah, like nobody's so. been living there. What's really, like Why yeah, there's it? some history, but... Who's going to live there? Yeah, like you might as well give them like a better place to live, especially if it is the cheaper alternative, because mm -hmm. then the money can go in other places, like for example, the safety. Mm -hmm. I think it absolutely should remain the official residence and that the Canadian government, our wealthy, benevolent Canadian, should donate the money to be able to restore that for our Prime Minister and be the official residence. This is like the White House of Canada, right? So basically it should be renovated. And it, I mean, it should symbolize something, right? Which is the residence of the, of the Prime Minister. So yes, I do think it should be renovated. Honestly, I think, I mean, I, I understand that, you know, we, we give some consideration to like our heritage and like our historic buildings and things like that. Um, certainly he could find uh, the, there could be a different residence for the for the prime minister um, and whether the decision to actually spend that money and, and refurbish the building itself or or I mean, it would it would we'd have to see how much it would cost to you know, repurpose that building or maybe use it for something else or maybe even just demo it. And I mean, it's kind of a decision that, you know, needs to be made at some point, honestly, right? Absolutely. Just just for ch tradition's sake, you know, that's been the, the prime minister's home for a long, long time. Absolutely. I, I think it should be. They should have never let it get to the state that it's in. And I mean, every government is to blame for that, not just the liberals, right? I think there needs to be an uh, official residence for the Prime Minister. There needs to be some sort of home base. I don't know whether it's a great investment or not, but I think somebody needs to make a decision to either do something with it or decommission it somehow. It's The way it is right now isn't a great answer either. I would say no, because uh, it's going to cost millions and millions and millions, right? And I think that money can be more invested back into our health care education. I don't foresee if they've got a place to live and to hang on to something that all us taxpayers are going to pay for and then they move back and what about the other place, right? It just doesn't make sense. Well, it should. Either that or we have to build a whole brand new one somewhere. So we should be able to fix the one we have, you know, and then kind of, it's like, it's historic, isn't it? So we got to keep a few things, you know, uh, history. We need a bit of it to stay with us. That place, it, it should be converted into a museum. You know, it's it's housed many prime ministers over the years, and it's really, um, you know, so, something that we, we should look forward to going to visit and, and seeing, you know, the heritage that they've left behind. No, I think, uh, I think heritage is very important um, for our country, for any country, for any country that wants to call itself that. So I think uh, it's important that we have... Um, you know, that we invest in our infrastructure, you know, regardless of whether that's a prime minister's, you know, home or whether that's, you know, bridges and, and, uh, and highways and trains, train lines. Um, you know, we may, may or may not love our prime minister, but it is important part of our heritage so that future prime ministers have uh, a home to be proud of and, a, and, and somewhere to showcase our country to the world when we have visiting uh, dignitaries. I definitely think that the heritage aspects of the Prime Minister's house should be repaired. I think that it's a, it's a part of Canada's history and I think it's really important to, to protect and, and rehabilitate our historic buildings. For example, here in Calgary, um, I think it finished in 2000, 
gosh, I can't even remember, but a couple of years ago, uh, the city of Calgary refurbished our historic city hall. It's an amazing sandstone building, and I think a lot of people really appreciate it when we put the the effort into preserving our buildings. And I think that the prime minister's house should be fixed up and remained a home for the for the prime minister. No, no, not. I mean, they should be thinking to spread that money to people who need rather than doing that. But if it can be managed without those kind of heavy expenses, and sure, if it takes another place which can provide better accommodation and better decision-making, then I think it should be okay. I don't know a great deal about the actual historical value of that property. I mean, I think it's in Canada when I compare in other countries where they have more historical properties, um, they preserve those and, and treasure those. So um, I think the question would be, what's the actual value? And, and also, does it need to continue to serve as the prime minister's residence or could it be used in another way? Uh, to the benefit of the Canadian public uh, and perhaps find a, a more comfortable home environment that's, um, uh, you know, serving the needs as the residence of the Prime Minister. I think, at the very least, it should be kept and maintained as a heritage building, uh, but maybe it's not necessarily a primary residence and doesn't need to be upkept to the same standard, but maybe it's just upkept to a heritage building standard. It would be very easy for us to do a, you know, nation nationwide architecture contest, uh, make it really about something that represents Canada, represents our values, represents who we are, uh, and create, you know, a, a, a significant art, uh, architectural uh, and design building that, 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 yeah, is really quite worthy of, of Canada. So I think that's where we should go with it. It's a heritage building. And I think that we've got a particularly poor record in this country of uh, restoring, maintaining, um, appreciating our, our past in, in the form of our architecture and our buildings. So I think that we should make the effort.